Had a Gabbler is a play written by Henrik Ibsen that features a strong female protagonist struggling with her role as a wife in the 19th century. The play wasn't very well received when it was first released. I couldn't possibly imagine why. Hedda Gabler was written in 1890, six years after the Norwegian Association for Women's Rights was created. This, along with Ibsen's other play, A Doll's House, contributed to the first wave of feminism in Norway from 1879 to 1890. Before 1890, men in Norway had significant power over their wives. Over time, this began to change as there was an increase in male passivity. At the same time, women were receiving higher education as the Victorian gender roles were beginning to dissipate. During his childhood, Ibsen witnessed how his mother was treated and how powerless she was. This is reflected in his writing. Other factors of Ibsen's life that are reflected in this play are the financial issues that Ibsen dealt with throughout his life, as well as the depression Ibsen suffered for several years of his life. He's just a generally unhappy guy who wrote a generally unhappy play. Around 1825, 65 years before Hedda Gabler was written, a playwright by the name of Eugene Scribe developed a genre of play known as the Peace Bien Fait, which translates to well-made play. Yeah, because apparently this guy knows so well what makes a well-made play that he defined exactly what it needs and made it into a genre. According to Scribe, a well-made play contains a secret which leads to dramatic irony and then a buildup of suspense that reaches a climax where the secret is revealed causing the hero's triumph and the villain's downfall leaving us with a happy ending. Ibsen took the genre and built upon it creating the problem play which is a play that deals with controversial social issues. This form still retained many of the traits of Scribe's genre. Because of his depiction of real-life events over abstract interpretations, Ibsen became known as the father of realism. As for why the play wasn't well received upon release, some say it's because Norway wasn't prepared for such a manipulative and controlling female role. If you ask me, I'd say it's because Hedda Gabler technically isn't a well-made play. Yeah!